Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. What's new from the new update 1.5.3? We are gonna take a look everything that has already been found and noticed. If you have noticed something else that I didn't include in this video, let me know in the comments down below. But let's go! As you already might noticed, I'm using very cool looking sword. It is one-handed sword, the glided edge, but we are gonna take a closer look to that one a little bit later on. But one thing I noticed right away, well, not in my live stream, but when recording this video, the Odin rune in here, it is not glowing anymore. Also, I was really disappointed for the fact we didn't get any like cool features in this update, like Tombs of the Fallen Part 2. I think it is gonna be released in July, most likely around 19th or 26th of July, because last year we did get the Secret Plot Festival at 29th of July and I think we are gonna see much more festivals coming this year like the Secret Blood, Oscorea, perhaps even the third Duel Festival but let's take a closer look of the Bifrost weapon pack that was added into the Helix store today so Shimmering Shield, blocking temporarily increased light damage duration 5 seconds plus then light damage also Iridescent Axe, Divine 100 Bearded Axe increase heavy damage after each light hit and yeah, this bundle, it is for free in the Helix store for a limited time from June 28th to July 26th. So grab it now when you can. And yeah, these weapons are looking pretty familiar. The axe, it is reskin from the Varian's axe. And the perk, it is from the Raider's axe to the point. So Raider's axe perks and the look of the Varian's axe. Although the shield, it doesn't have two weapons, it has one weapon. So Shimmering Shield, it is total reskin from the Raven Clan Shield, but honestly, I don't care, it is free, so I'm not complaining, just pointing it out. But still, pretty cool weapons, and the shining of them, well, we are gonna take a closer look of that a little bit later. Also, we got new boots from the Reda, from the pretty new packs so of Blessed Warrior Pants, from the Shaint version, the stats and the perks, they are on the screen, so pause the video if you need. But definitely worth of 100 opals, if nothing else, for the Triumph Smog. Also, one thing that was changed update before this one, and this update took a step back. So, from Legacy Outfit look, the whole armor thing. Yeah, that is not the case for the Niflheim, Draugr or the Hell's Damnation armors anymore. And yeah. For that one I'm also disappointed because I did love the look. One positive thing, we can change the icons now in the loadouts and more about loadouts also later on in this video. But let's take a look of the Bifrost weapons and the cool little effect that they have. Every like 5-6 seconds there is like rainbow colored shining shimmering on both weapons going from down to up and yeah it is actually pretty cool. I think the perks are working a little bit better than they used to. For now, we are gonna see what Reda, the useless, is having for us today. Well, today he did actually pretty okay. On the daily, we are having Dwalin, the reindeer mount. On the weeklies, we are having Knights of the Round Table, right arm that too, for 35 opals. And absolutely the best item, the glided edge, one handed sword for 120 opals, Tannerus head that too, 35 opals. High Elf Bracers for 100 Opals, Blessed Warrior Pants Saint version for 100 Opals, and last and least, Draugr Right Arm that too for 35 Opals. So, pretty solid week in my opinion, nothing like, whoa, amazing, and nothing like, boo, this sucks. I think I'm gonna give this one a solid 5 out of 10 rating. Another thing that wasn't fixed, so if you buy something from the main game, or Ireland, or anywhere else, then go to Frankia, to the shop, and boom, without leveling up, without waiting. Yeah, you can buy double of everything if you want, like skill points, mastery points, platinum. But like although one thing that got fixed was Hildurand's shop, she has nothing in there. I'm not sure if you actually need to go back into save files, if you did buy the bow or the sequel for the second time. Also, one thing that wasn't fixed, we have still million dwarven hairs and beard styles. I also think those are gonna be multiplying faster than me. Also, we have nothing, 
new for the fireflies next to Valkas hut but at this point I really want to remind you guys to take part of the 15th anniversary of Ascent Creed celebration the grand prize for that one it is gonna be a trip to Italy for two I will leave a link in the description box down below so be sure to take part of that one this week it's Odysseo next week it is gonna be Origins Let's keep going, what's new? So, Karas Domain in Svartalheim, there is one new change, but not for the better this time, when we go to the shop, dun, 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 it is empty, or at least I cannot access it, whatsoever. So, good job Ubisoft, you fixed it, and in the literally the next update you did break it once again, also the boasts. They are still grey, at least for me, so if you have bought everything from the store, let me know, are they grey for you, or are you getting like bluish greenish color, aka getting more tokens when using those, let me know in the comments. So yeah, only 190 for applying every boast, not worth it whatsoever. But for now, let's take a closer look of brand new free weapons that we just did got today. So blocking will increase the light damage and light attacks will actually increase the heavy damage. And I think this actually did work. I did see a slight increase every time I did a hit. So around from 30-40 we did go up to 70. Also for the light attacks, yeah, definitely improved. Now the main thing that I was really waiting for after seeing the patch notes going into the inventory to the loadouts and yeah we can actually access them this time and we can change the gear on the fly even in the medieval realms so that is pretty awesome so for that one I will tip my hat for Ubisoft good job also let's take a look of the new weapon the glider deaths and the pictures from the light of the beam that will be spawning after special attacks are made so using that sword in offhand the lighting from it yeah pretty cool pictures and the one thing that did came to my mind from those pictures that is Javi is secretly a pirate so yarr I got scurvy so let me know are you gonna use this weapon and if you're gonna take any pictures I would love to see them in my discord in the description box I will leave invite link so you can join share the pictures have some fun play the games and share your thoughts freely in my discord but let's take a look how the beam of light is actually working so Loki has never been easier in my opinion so pretty awesome weapon definitely one of the best that we have ever seen from the one-handed swords at Reda. so boom 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 and Loki the trickster he's down before we are ending this video, the next update should be about the Tombs of the Fallen part 2, after that the Four Gordon Saga, new game mode, Dragons, Niflheim, basically a free DLC. So can't wait and I will keep you updated. After the trailer, let's roll the outro and huge shout out to Elite Wolfpack aka the channel members, the list will go on before the outro. For now Wolfpack, stay hydrated. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, 
hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up and bye bye.